Cole beat Covington. from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge and reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Close guard. Nice hammer fist. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Usman. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. And he's going for the choke now. fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Covington's back in side control here. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Covington's going for a choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. That's one of those shots, and if you take one of them, it can end the night, that one may be right on the spot. An uppercut leader. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Uh, working inside the close guard now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Usman. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 
Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. And they both stand up. So 65 total strikes and counting have now landed for Colby Covington. And connecting with 76% accuracy, too, against the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Grab it back to the head, pull it forward. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his strike. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. A little cut below that left eye. Usman's got the full mount. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so. He's gonna try to fall off to the side and pull his opponent up on top of him. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. And right on cue, there he is, falls to the side. Looks like he's gonna struggle with, okay. with the now choke. He's okay. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Usman. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Oh, straight right. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Covington. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Covington. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Might be a submission attempt here, Chief. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Usman. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and very important. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Kamaru Russo. Close guard. Good work from the top here by Covington. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Close guard. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. And he landed the right hand to the right hand inside. He's hooked now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Look at how fast. Full 
guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Oh, shot to the body, connects. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Covington's has got full mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, he's got a choke. Staying busy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, he's going for his arm now. He's a tech arm bar now. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, that's the end of the round. Some significant damage done, or so it appears. The fighter's got a cut above his eye from that round. Cut man gonna earn his money here. Got the single collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Take down here, he gets it. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Covington's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. He's that guillotine. the strikes here off of his back by Covington. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Usman's got the full mount. All right, so he postures up here, and now fingers to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nice hammer fist. Good work here to the body with the ground and pound by Usman. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 
Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. get up now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Left hand punch the clinch. Oh, big punch All right, So a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and knew very shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new! Gentlemen, stand and cheer. We have a new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And what an effort from the number one contender and challenger here tonight to outlast the champion over 25 hard minutes. And now the focus shifts to this man as the welterweight division enters a new phase. We congratulate tonight the new king of the UFC welterweight division. for all the marbles, the UFC middleweight championship of the world between Paolo Costa and Nick Diaz. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys, oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, nice right hand. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Oh, 
collar tie. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Costa's strike attempt there is blocked. Nice right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. Big call from Brunch Land. Now he gets back to range. So he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency. With yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! There you go. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Diaz is hooked to the body. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Ooh. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punch. Oh! He's out! He got him! <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Paolo the And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight. But he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. Up for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Big kick lands. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect.
Straight right hand, no good. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, big elbow. He blocks the shot. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Back to the feet. Oh! Under two minutes now to go in round one. Ooh, what a punch. Some nice back and forth action here. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Jan Wojcic. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Seconds now to go in round one. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a mess. And he connects there, DC. Great job. Oh! That He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Right hand on point. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking oh! good. Ooh, diving punch, man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Got his guard pass. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet now. Try to establish that jab. Oh! 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 Right hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 48 total strikes have already landed for Jan Kwahovic. Just below 50. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. here in round two, much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He blocks the punch. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is, the king of the 205ers, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. And no better way to get the job done than he did tonight by knockout.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony as exciting in this sport as the crowning of a new UFC champion. Congrats to the new light heavyweight king, and at 205 pounds, he joins a pantheon of UFC all-time. I mean, he joined a laundry list of great fighters. Randy Couture, Tito Ortiz, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Yes. I mean, so many great fighters have held this title, and this man's name now stands amongst the legends of the UFC. It's a heavyweight championship showdown between Stipe Miocic and the ring, Alistair Overeem. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the heavyweight rematch. Alistair Overeem, Stipe Miocic. They fought for the UFC heavyweight title back in 2016. Some people thought Stipe tapped that night, Chief. Alistair Overeem is one of them, but he got, he was getting his bell rung whenever he thought that Stipe tapped. But outside of the tap, ignore that, he feels Stipe tapped. But go back to early in the fight when he drops Stipe. That is what he should be focusing on as he enters this rematch because if he stays the course, maybe he gets the finish this time instead of just knocking the Ilches down. Nice stupid punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes now to go. Big kick land. Oh, oh. Big combination. He's got him hurt here. Over reported on. What a fight. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Oh. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. So just over 20 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Over. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, wow. Oh! He might get a finish here. And he's out. Oh, really nice.
Nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bottle. Overing's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Miocic gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. tonight and it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the country. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Miocic gets the tie clinch here. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Little slip there by the ring. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up. Not much. Back to the feet. A little single collar tie there. Oh! Nice leg kick land. Now, that was Case Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the corner very bad with him. 44 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Rover. And striking at a 61% accuracy rate tonight against Steve Miocic. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Now he's got the tight switch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Punch over the top. gets hit by that kick to the body. I see the power tie now. Oh, a big knee. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Nice counter left there. Knee to the body. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Went for the inside leg kick. Ten seconds. Ten minutes in the books. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. <laughs> nice punch by Overeem. Yes. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh! A swing and a miss by the ring. 68 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Overeem. Straight connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and they got right to the target. Back to the feet. Oh, big knee. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go change that. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Overeem gets up, but the question is for how long he looks wobbly. Oh, straight right. Oh! Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He had a hurt. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got him. 
walking off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Two minutes. Lemayne in the right. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Attack it on, Bar. Nicely done. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Bar working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.